Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Leslie and I was thinking this morning about when I first started my journey, how it was ultimately my choice at the end of the day to get started on my 50 kilo weight loss. I have lost the weight, yes, um, 50 kilos is a lot of weight, but every day that I wake up is a choice for me to decide am I going to go back to the past or am I going to choose my future? The choice does not end once you lose the weight, it's a daily choice. If I look back to when I first started, it was tough. It was, do I want to be this weight? Do I want to be unhealthy? Or do I want to choose a happier, healthier future? And um, what I'm trying to say with this video is that ultimately every day that you wake up, the choice for a better future is yours. It's no one else's, no one else can make that choice for you. So whether you're just starting your weight loss journey or you're just starting to want a healthier, better future for yourself, the choice is ultimately yours. I wake up every day and I have to choose, do I want to go back to that time in my life? Do I want to feed myself unhealthy food to comfort myself for a short term um, gain for a short term indulgence or do I want to choose to be healthier and happier? I was just thinking about that this morning because while it's okay to have breaks every now and then, it's okay to not be so um, focused on being better all the time. You know, I think it's important to have breaks and not think about it, about bettering ourselves so much. I also think that at the end of the day, we know ourselves best and it's up to us. So if you are, if you have already lost the weight, you still have the choice every morning to decide, are you going to continue to be healthy and happy and you're going to continue to look after yourself, um, you know, feed your body, feed your mind with positive things, healthy things, or are you going to go backwards? For me personally, going backwards is not an option. I have got so far with my journey and I have achieved such a, mess a massive goal for myself. Uh, losing 50 kilos is not an easy feat and the journey doesn't just stop once I've lost the weight and I really have recognize that you know I did take some time off for my birthday and I did take some time away just to enjoy life because at the end of the, end of the day that's what this entire journey has been I just wanted to be happy and now it is very important for me to choose that happiness every day that I wake up or risk going back and I can't go back it is not an option for me anymore because I have I physically see how much better my life is and how much stronger and healthier I am and how easier honestly life is so yes choosing to eat well and um, look after myself you know it does take a little bit more effort but that effort that I put in every day is so much easier than being overweight <laughs> it's so much easier than being unhappy because I was I was very unhappy and if I stayed in that position a year and a half ago if I was still 50 kilos heavier I don't know where my life would have gone ultimately choosing to overfeed yourself to emotionally eat to not move your body not drink enough water, not get enough sleep, spend too much time on your phone. It's these like things that add up and we notice that the days just go past and we haven't really, we're not really fulfilled, you know. I have felt such immense fulfillment in the harder choice. 
choosing to feed myself well, choosing to not give in to the cravings and break the cycles of binge eating. I chose to go to therapy. I chose to go for my daily walk, do my daily physical activity. And I really, really notice it when I don't choose. It's really crazy to think that every day that you wake up, you could have a completely different life. You might truly hate where you are. And the next day you could decide that you aren't gonna live like that anymore. You sign up to gym or you start doing your 10,000 steps a day or you um, start meal prepping, you choose to start looking for a new place to live, um, you set boundaries with your relationships. The job that you have right now is paying the bills but you're severely depressed and you aren't capable of looking after yourself. Maybe looking into something new is a good idea for you. It's all a choice. Um, and sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes it feels like we are stuck. I, when I was 120 kilos, I felt like I was stuck every single day and I wasn't. It was just in my mind. You have the choice. It's your choice. How you want to feel is up to you. It's not up to anyone else. It's up to you. And it's scary and it's exciting and it's so insane to think that if we chose the healthier path today and we chose that every day in six months, what would our life look like? When I was 120 kilos and I chose to get out of my environment and I chose to book a ticket to New Zealand, I pretty much was saying that it's my choice to get out of my comfort zone and it's my choice to not feel like that anymore because my environment was killing me. It was horrible. And I chose to get out of my situation. And while we don't always have that choice, I did. And for a long time, I told myself that I didn't, but I did. I immediately noticed the effects. I immediately saw how my life was getting better every day. I was exploring and I was meeting new people after isolating for a very long time. You know, every day I was choosing to just be happy and I was choosing to put my happiness first and it's hard. <laughs> By choosing myself, I really did notice the shift in my happiness and ultimately I could see that I was starting to lose the weight and I could see that if I keep doing this and if I keep getting out of my comfort zone and choosing to be happy I might actually get my body back <laughs> and I did you know I really did um I overseas I think I lost 30 kilos um and that's incredible just because I noticed where I was and I noticed how my environment was affecting me and I noticed that it wasn't changing anytime soon and it did it was a big choice but I made that choice and no one else could have made that choice for me that was just an example but that one choice changed my life and I'm so glad I made it I was so terrified. The entire experience was terrifying, but I did it. <laughs> and that's actually something I'm really proud of. So when you do wake up and you realize it's a brand new day and you have the choice to take this day however you would like, what are you going to do today to have a better future? Whether it's treating the people around you with respect, um, doing small things for the people that you love, choosing to feed your body with natural healthy food, um, cutting down on your caffeine intake, you know, drinking more water, getting exercise, all these things that we know what we know what to do. What are you going to do today to better your life, to better your future?
because it starts from today. Don't wait for next week. Because if I didn't make that choice that day to change my behavior, to change my cycle that I was in with emotional eating, if I didn't choose it today, then I would not be sitting in front of this camera talking to you about my 50 kilo weight loss. I'm terrified of where my life would be if I didn't make that choice. So it's just something to think about. I hope that this video helped. Um, I did take a week and a half break and I just posted just what I felt like posting and now I'm back to talking about my health and everything that this channel is really about. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. I'm really appreciative of everyone that has sent really nice and kind messages to me because truly that does help. It, it really does help. I love this channel. I love posting on this channel and so I'm going to keep doing that. And yeah, so I just kind of wanted to end this video just with a thank you. And thank you for everyone that said happy birthday to me as well. That was really, really sweet. So, okay. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Comment whatever choice you are going to make today. Whatever that may be. I would love to hear. I would love to see what you have to say um so yeah thank you and i will see you in the next one